In this video, we're going to talk about how to get started with Typing Club School Edition. The first step is to create an account. To create an account, go to typingclub.com, then click on School Edition near the top right corner. Next, click Sign Up. Choose your account type. You can search for your school here, or if you can't find it on the list, you can click here to enter it manually. Then enter the information for yourself. Next is the login URL setup. This is the URL that you and all of your students will go to every time you log into Typing Club. We'll make a suggestion here, but you're also able to customize it if you wish. Next, you'll choose a plan. We offer our basic edition, which is 100% free, or a 60-day free trial of our pro edition, or if you happen to already have a license key or a purchase order, you can select the pro edition. Then select your number of students, and where did you hear about us? and then agree to the terms of use and the privacy policy and create the account. Once your account is created, you'll be brought to the login page where you'll enter your email and password. You can start a tutorial, but you can also exit out of it at any time. First, we'll start by going to classes. First, add your first class manually Then you have the option to view the class, add another class, or add students. You can add one student, add many students, or if you had existing students in the account already, you can enroll them. I'll start by adding one student. You also have the option to add many students, and you would do this using a CSV file. You can use the import update tool or the data import tool for larger accounts. Right now we'll take a look at the import update tool. You can download a sample CSV file with all of the information you'll need. And then when you're ready, you can upload your file and click next. You'll see a preview of all of the data. The system will try to guess the header for each column, but if it's not accurate or if you would like to skip any of the columns and not upload it, you can make those appropriate changes. Then select the school that you would like the, class, the students to be added to and click Finalize Import. And now the students have been uploaded to the school and now you can enroll them in your class as well. Another option for adding classes is you can use either Google Classroom or Clever Classroom. Another option is you can click on your class and enable the class code. And this will allow your students to enroll themselves in your account and into your class. So you wouldn't need to add any of your students into the account. You would just give them the class code or this class code URL. They'd go to the URL and then they could either sign up with Google or sign up with Microsoft 365 if you've enabled that, or they can manually enter their first name, optional last name, username or email and password, and then they'll be signed up for your account and signed up for your class. Once your students are added to the account and enrolled in a class, they are ready to get started. Typing Jungle is the default lesson plan assigned to all new classes. And Typing Jungle is great for anyone in grade two all the way up to adults. It has close to 700 lessons in it. It'll start by teaching them how to find the bumps on the F and the J key, and then they'll progress to typing full paragraphs at a minimum of 50 words per minute. 
If you'd like, you can also assign additional lesson plans to the class. There are plenty of options to choose from. We have new vocabulary and spelling. If you have any younger students, you could use Jungle Junior, which is great for kindergarten and first grade. Animated story typing, DC typing, which is our digital citizenship based lesson plan. And you can assign as many lesson plans as you would like to a class. And if you have any questions, you can click on support. And if you click this link, it'll bring you to the Typing Club Help Center. And then if you have any more questions, you can contact support by creating a ticket here and it'll be sent to our support center and they'll get back to you as soon as they can.